Hello, hi, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Compact Housing. Now I would be taking you through the two bedroom house, well designed house with lot of compartments to store everything in the house. This is the entrance door. Once you enter the apartment, you could see there are a couple of cabinets over here. Once you open the cabinets, there is ample space for storing your dining table, extra shoes and shelves on the top. There are also hooks over here where you can put your raincoats, umbrellas and stuff like that. First aid box. And then bottom when you see here, this is for storing the shoes and stuff like that. There is also another compartment. The interesting factor about this compartment is you can store a lot of vacuum cleaner, cleaning agents and then tool kits and whatever you know you require. There are several shelves and then you can put in things over there. Yeah. While you are walking over here you could, uh, you could see this space is well utilized with a very decorative uh, mirror and certain stuff over here. There is a table with a drawer where you can keep your you know, socks and other things. Come inside. A couple of wall decorative items, wall frames, pictures. Come inside the kitchen. This is an open kitchen concept. Where you could see the breakfast counter table over there. And the kitchen is in L shape and there is a little bit of counter space over here. And then this first unit is the refrigerator unit. And top of the refrigerator unit, there is a shelf to store your additional items, vessels, pots, pans. And here all your baking stuff. Very nice dishwasher with two compartments. Where you can load all your plates, spoons, pots and pans and fill with rings aid and washing powder. The oven and there's a sink. this is a sink unit. Under the sink unit, waste bin and couple of drawer systems to put your masalas oils. Induction hob I really like the chimney Once you switch on you can pop out this chimney so that it has got full coverage and it sucks the fumes Out of the chimney There's a small compartment where you can store all your masala items on top of it and easily access them Wall cabinets with lot of shelving system inside there's also an oven for baking, yummy yummy food and really nice unit, two rod system where you can put your towels and then oven gloves, chopping boards in the bottom, serving trays in the bottom. Above the oven also you could see a drawer where you can keep additional racks, couple of drawers for storing your cutlery. All are soft closing ones, chopping boats, again forks, spoons, knives, wider cabinet for storing your pots, pans. Coming to this side of the kitchen, you could see a granite sack place where you can keep your mixy, sandwich maker and also an uh, uh, water heating uh, jack, couple of shelves, to keep all your cleaning towels and also on the top to keep all your crockery sets. Usually the crockery sets are kept on the top so that it is easy to access and also it looks nice because this is see through glass. <coughs> all your glasses. <coughs> living area area in the living area you could see there are a couple of you know chairs and a sofa the sofa becomes a sleeping bed if there are additional guests at the home nice 
decorative lighting and there's a glass table and mat is also added in the bottom. It gives a very soothing and warmth, you know, living area. There is ledges to keep your decorative stuff. Now we can see a wall which says relax, watch and then, you know, you can decorate the wall with a texture painting or even frames like this. This is an extension breakfast counter table. Over here you can add additional tables if you require. There is also a dining table which serves four people and very nice decorative light again added. Every wall over here is being decorated with a theme inside and light colors are used and you know certain walls are highlighted with you know highlighting paints. After the dining table you could see the TV cabinet. TV cabinet there, are, there is space for keeping your CDs, DVR and stuff like that and there is a shelf system towards the left side of the TV cabinet where you can stick in all your decorative stuff and then there are a couple of niches and wall frames. Wall frames you can see you know on all the walls. Nice curtains running from floor to the window to the window height. Basically that's a French window. Now let's go to bedrooms. Before going to the bedroom, there's an interesting cabinet that I want to show you. This is a laundry cabinet. Once you open this, it gives access to the washing machine and all the laundry stuff. You can stick in the paper rolls, washing detergent, detergents over there and it's everything in one place. And once you close, people even don't get to know what is there inside and it looks very neat. This is made with the same color as a door of the bathroom. So that it is, you know, it looks aligned. Couple of hooks on the bathroom door. And this is how the bathroom looks. And even the cabinet above uh, the WC where you can store, you know, all your uh, paste, brushes and stuff like that. Let's go to the bedroom now. This is basically a kid's bedroom. You know, where you can see two beds and very nice, you know, greens, creams and whites that's been used, all neutral colors, which really looks nice and gives, you know, nice ambience. And there is one highlighter light that has been used. The screens are in green color where you can see in the hall, it was in creams and whites. And there is, you know, unit where you can put all your necessary stuff. This is with a grooming system, modular cabinet and the light placed on top of it. Whatever you are seeing in this house is basically the modular way of doing the furniture which looks neat, clean, simple furniture. You know, there is nothing extra that is that speaks. Everything is plain colors but you know, you know the different colors that's been used, different textures that's been used, different material to match up the ambience. The couple of shelves inside in the wardrobe. wardrobe Usually we can customize according to the requirement of or the necessity of the uh, you know, usage of particular person. And then inside this drawer, uh, particular wardrobe, there are certain drawers where you can store your socks and you know uh, jewelry and all of, all small things like that. And there's also a hanger rod where you can put all your clothes hanged and then you know uh, bed sheets. There's also a nice uh, kind of a rod that runs where you can, you know, put hang in the used cloths, laundry uh, basket also is there. There's also a mat that is being added on the floor, couple of chairs to sit and relax. Behind the wall, even the wall is decorated with a ledge, simple ledge with a decorative item looks really neat and clean. I really love the space. I was just talking about the convertible sofa to the bed. I'll be demonstrating one of that unit. Where, you know, in the video you would have seen that there were a lot of pillows that is kept that I've kept it aside. Now I would be converting the sofa to the bed. It's quite easy. You will have to hold this particular part of the sofa and then turn it this way. Look at this. Now it's formulating as a bed for two people to sleep. Isn't it crazy and good? I really love this concept.
cabinet, vanity cabinet, with the drawers, a couple of drawers there, and there is also a unit to, to take in your toilet seats, like paste, brushes, and stuff like that. And there's very nice decorative mirror, magnifier glass, and there are a couple of hooks to hang your towels and towel rod there. And, then, and it's, it's really nice, comfortable, and you have everything in one place. Come inside the bedroom. This is the master bedroom, where again it's done with the themes of, you know, themes and tones of the green, basically. You can see the curtains are in the green, bedspread. You can actually change the colors of the bedspread any time that you want, so that it matches to the ambience. Uh, right now, green bedspread we've been added, there's a carpet in the bottom, and there's wooden flooring, a couple of pillows, and there is a ledge. On top of it, there is a nice center which says dream, you know, and then, you know, wall is decorated again with the wall frames. Over here, I really like this lighting system with the full length mirror. Slide smoothly. Inside you can see a couple of kinds of rocks where you can uh, put in all your clothes. There's a stool, if you want, you can keep it out. And there's an uh, air conditioning system. Yes. This side, when you open, there's also a couple of shelves. You can actually, you know, add in the shelves or see through drawers or even the basket, depending upon, you know, the requirement and the need. You need to really plan when you're, you know, planning your master bedroom. Yes, I hope you really like the themes of this house. You know, this is a two-bedroom house and we also saw there's a sofa which is the convertible bed. Uh, if additional people come into your house as guests, then you can actually open up the sofa as a bed and then, you know, it's, it's really nice. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.